Welcome to the Patty Wagstaff Aerobatics School uh, here in St. Augustine. I'm standing in front of our uh, Super Decathlon and this is what the majority of our students fly uh, in uh, the majority of our courses. It has 180 horsepower like homing engine. It also has a constant speed propeller. This is just a general uh, familiarization walk around of the, uh, the uh, Super Decathlon and then I'll get another video of, uh, of the uh, electronics. Externally braced uh, wing, it is fabric covered. The majority of the airplane is fabric covered. Uh, it has a um, externally braced tail with some uh, external flying wires. It is a uh, tailwheel airplane, of course. It has uh, a, a spring uh, steel uh, landing gear. It is a uh, steerable tailwheel system. Uh, this airplane in general has a a uh, bit of a shimmy history uh, and that is if you overload the elevator on landing um, and overload the uh, the tailwheel it does develop a bit of a shimmy so uh, just a little uh, idiosyncrasy of this particular airplane approaching the cockpit we have a, uh, a door it is actually an aerobatic door it has a jettison feature under the normal conditions we have uh, one latch here a latch here and a latch here. Uh, this is how we normally uh, close and lock the door with these three latches. We normally hold on to this front latch when we open and close the door and uh, that way we can control it otherwise it, uh, it can swing open very very violently. We try not to grab this little plastic pocket as it will pull off. Inside, just inside the door, if we should happen to run into a condition where we need to egress the airplane, as in a bailout situation, uh, there is a way to jettison the door, and that is done with this ring and this lever. Pull the ring and then lift the lever. And that's what that does is it pulls the hinges, the hinge pins, and it pulls the pin out of the hinges and the whole door blows off. So as we're coming into the airplane, most of the students start in the front seat. The instructor pilot will be in the back seat. In the uh, front seat, generally, it is an articulated seat. It does have a feature uh, where we can pull this little T-handle outboard and take and uh, slide the seat forward uh, a few notches. So the seat does have some adjustment. There's also removable seat cushions various parachute packages and parachute uh, and, and seat foam uh, that we use to fit everybody correctly into the airplane. Uh, it is a, um, the rudder pedals are of conventional design where we have the rudder pedal at the bottom and toe brakes at the top. On both sides under the panel we have a little black knob that is for heat rear heat and cabin heat and then this is a fresh air knob not to be confused with the parking brake as you can see they're very similar to one another so fresh air there's a duplicate side on the uh, uh, a duplicate set on the other side heat on the bottom uh, fresh air vents uh, for the uh, uh, front pilot we have a fuel tank that is the header tank that is where we have our aerobatic fuel a normal stick with a push to talk uh, button uh, on the, uh, the top of each stick. We'll get into the electronics uh, on a second video. Down on the left side of the airplane, we have the fuel valve. It is on in the down position, and when it is lifted and inboard, it is uh, in the off position. So fuel on or off. We have alternate air, which is a feature of uh, uh, fuel injected engines to get an alternate source of air to the fuel control unit. Throttle is here. The trim tab is here. The trim is uh, interesting in that it is only held in place with friction and it only and it slides forward and back. It is very, very uh, finicky and uh, a dab will do you. So you move it a little fraction of an inch and it has a lot of force. So uh, just something that everybody has to be uh, get accustomed to. Up um, on the, uh, the bottom of the panel, we have our starter push button. We have an emergency fuel pump boost pump. Uh, that's just a, uh, here's a blue knob for the propeller control. Our propeller control here. 
and our mixture control here. They're both the veneer uh, style controls. We have our headset. We do use Bose headsets um, and we have our power box for the Bose up here. Okay. Um, coming back down for the window. The window is got a horizontal little uh, articulated uh, support that has to be lifted to make it break over to be brought in where it is latched forward. Okay, there is also one in the back and the back uh, instructor pilot normally does the window latch like that. Uh, coming up, we have um, a fuel uh, gauge. This is the left wing root. It's mechanical for the uh, fuel in that tank. And there is one in the right wing root as well. Okay. So those are very accurate. They are mechanical gauges. We have all the electrical system in this uh, box area here. That is a light. Then we have our magnetos, master switch, avionic switch, and then the blue switches are lighting, nav lights, landing light, and anti-collision or strobe lights, and various circuit breakers. So that is the general overall uh, look at um, the, uh, the Super Decathlon, and we will uh, generate another video for the avionics. Thanks for watching.